that's what I do. All the old signs read destiny. How far? Hello. Watches this, whoever's been watching it from the beginning. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Cause I miss myself. <laughs> How does that occur? I don't know, but <sighs> oh, I haven't been on my daily, my weekly schedule. But I can't tell you, I'm back. I keep on it. Keep not let my emotion, not let distractions stop me from what I was doing. I was every week, three videos a week. In these past two weeks, two videos one week, one video last week. What was going on with me? Huh? 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 I can't be like that. Oh, especially if I want to be. This vlogging to pop off. I can't set back or fall back or forget about it, if that makes sense. So, I'm back. And you ready? Is you ready? You ready? You ready? You scared? You scared? Alright, are you ready for today's topic? Um, today's topic, um, pretty much sums up what's been happening or happened in the last week or so because, um, it's still with feelings. And I think, and I believe my last couple of Vlogs is about move, and move is pertaining to your feelings. So, with that being said, when you're called to do something, when it pertains to God and God alone, um, you have to learn. <laughs> you have to learn to put your feelings aside. I'm still learning this. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, because I just am. Like, some people, I, honest, how can I not be honest if I say my channel is my journey, if this is my journey to freedom? I gotta be honest with you, baby. So, this is all about this topic. This particular vlog is about your feelings don't mean nothing when you're called. Yeah, your feelings don't mean nothing, don't mean anything when you're called. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. All right. Disgusting. Feelings not mean nothing when you're caught. So, I'm, I'm like I just said, I'm still dealing with that because sometimes emotions get get the best of me. But like, it's time for me to mature in Christ for real. So, by me saying that, I can't no longer um even though i feel i want to do the go if i feel i want to have a a temper tantrum um i can't because i'm caught i'm caught to i'm caught to more than just dancing i'm caught for something else and 
I'm just in my journey until that something else comes about. Okay, I already professed that for something else, but y'all not gonna know that until it's time. And it's not time, because I am so not ready. Okay? I still got some more growing to do in that. And when people say they called to something, they just wanted to quit, quit, quit. And not really doing the work that needs to be done in order for you to fully walk into what you say that you are called to do. You can't just ah, you can't just rush the process. You can't rush the process. So in the midst of you can't rush that process. You gonna have to learn to not feel the type of way when stuff pop off. You gonna have to learn to not let anger come upon you. You gonna have to learn to not let past situations determine how you going to react to a new situation without even consulting God, without even saying God help me, without even discerning why, without even just just not doing stuff that are not of the Lord. So stuff happens and then you feel remorseful and then you gotta be right believe you so you be like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> you don't believe me but you know your heart and when you know you're genuine about whatever an apology or whatever you do not have to continue to prove yourself in your words you have to continue to prove yourself in your actions. That's how you prove yourself. Because you can't keep saying, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. And you expecting things to be different. You expecting things to be resolved. But they're not going to get resolved because you're still not really mean it by your actions so when you know that you are called to anything in ministry you can't live in the flesh that is the whole point I'm trying to get to your feelings that's a part of your flesh when you're called you can't do that you have uh, like we just learned in Bible study, you have to put on the whole armor of God. Keep that helmet of salvation on because the enemy knows and tries to get in your mind. So therefore, when you put on that helmet of salvation and do it for real and not you, the enemy, it's like this is the enemy, right? He, he tried to get in your mind, but, uh, uh, but no, he can't get into it because you have that helmet of salvation and you can't just whew, you can't just put on the helmet of salvation or the whole armor of God one day. No 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 no. So you have to keep renewing and you have to keep renewing renewing you have to keep putting on each and every day because each day brings forth new experiences so in that each day keep putting him salvation that is my main one i mean i need need everything else you know but of girt <laughs> but truth whatever you call it lord forgive me um this to protect your heart uh you the shoes everything Cause that's going to help you succeed in life S to succeed in the things of God so you can really walk into who you're called to be and not 
focus on your fitness, not being in your flesh when you're in your flesh. It brings forth mess. When you're in your flesh, it brings forth mess. Simple as that. I'm just going to be honest. It does. And then it causes you want to... causes you... I don't know. I don't know. It causes a lot of things in my experience. Past, present, future. I don't want to speak the future, but... I don't know how to handle it. There you go. And so... Or just remember, remember, when you're your flesh, it brings forth mess. Think on that. So, how are we going to move forward? <clears throat> knowing that we are called, but knowing that we have a problem being in our feelings a lot. How are we going to move forward? Guess what? And you move forward, right? You move forward by, ha, oh Lord, and I've gotten out of this completely for almost a month. Every day I was consistent. Um, you have to stay in your word. You have to pray. Um, and fast, when he calls fast. Like, to me that's just the main three things. And not just talk about it, but do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it. And here I am. Still. I still have trouble with procrastination and everything else. But I'm, I'm trying very more harder to work on it. But I'm not going to never will never say I'm perfect. will never say I got it all together. Because I don't. I still got stuff. I'm not where I was. Born. I'm not where I used to be. But I thank And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Mentally. Spiritually. Hallelujah. But I, I, I got to get to where I need to be. And me is holding me back by not fully working on what I need to work on, not fully um, being that bold and confident and speak up at all times if I got something to say or um, I am hurt by something. I still have to work on that. Um, learn more being assertive um, and Standing, standing on what I believe, standing what I know God called me to do, standing on what he's telling me what to stay, let us not stay, what to say, standing boldly and courageous and not caring about who or what does not believe because they are not God. They ain't got no heaven ahead to put me in. So why do I focus in on them so much? Do you have that problem? We all got that problem. So we all got to get into it together. And just... Whew, man... I think I'm done, but God is awesome. That's all I got to say. So, learn how to... Your feelings cannot... Does not mean anything. Your feelings don't mean nothing. When you are caught. Okay? Okay? Let's get to get that <laughs> What you doing? Did you watch this whole video? Did you? So, why haven't you subscribed yet? 
why haven't you subscribed? I'm gonna need for you to subscribe. Just hit that button. It doesn't, it only takes a second. Hit that button, button that's underneath this video that says subscribe. And when you push it, you're subscribed. That's how easy it is. So please, subscribe. Okay? And get continual continual updates. Notifications of new videos, new blogs.